In the words of the classic Monty Python sketch, there's nothing on the menu here but spam, 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 spam. Possibly some egg and chips and spam, spam, spam. More seriously, the whole notion of everyone becoming famous and an influence or um, so forth is a disease that's beginning to infect us all, me included. We're all partial to it a little, to some degree. If we're under a certain age, it's becoming a real problem. However, here's where an intersection with me and other people becomes a, um, something of a, an oddity. We're not mostly Mizzy here, who has yet again popped up into the news. Many of us run YouTube channels hoping to have a bit of a laugh, get some people to view them, cue people into our own hobbies or, you know, direct their attention to some obscure author or interest that we share. But here we have Mizzy yet again. TikTok pranks to Mizzy jailed for 18 weeks for breaching court order. Judge tells Mizzy that videos him pranking people shared without their consent were not funny. They're not, really. There's a certain kind of draw kind of humour for three or four minutes watching him do stupid nonsense, but it's actually quite painful and nasty what he does, especially knocking old people's hats off and causing people great misery. I'm sure he'll pop back up in the news again, but my take on Mizzy is that he's not actually that stupid a bo boy and his talent is misdirected and could actually be used to some useful end had he had some sort of role models. He reflects a sort of a failure in our own society to direct kids like this towards some useful goal. Instead, he directs what's obviously a reasonably sharp mind underneath the stupidity and noisiness, which he is notable for when he gets going, towards a great deal of silliness, which has now seen him serving 18 weeks in a Young Offenders Association institution, sorry, if he keeps going, that's likely to become a larger and larger sentence every time. Now, Mizzy strikes me as having a certain degree of arrogance where he likely will not learn from this the first time round, and it will go on and on and on. Mizzy also doesn't understand that he might be the flavor of the month for five minutes to do laughs or jokes about in a newspaper, but that that's all he is, and that in five years he'll be the answer to a trivia question in a pub, if, if that. I have a friend who teaches who noticed that she has kids giving answers to what do you want to be an influencer. When she tries to point out this is not actually a career and that it's not actually going to be a great thing to put on bank papers for a mortgage or put money in your bank or anything you can build qualifications or a life on, they really can't understand it. There seems to be a real cultural and generational divide on this that's becoming a, a problem in our society. Kids like Mizzy have been failed both by their own generation and I would say by people my age as well. It's not just a simple issue. And how we stop it is not simple either.